in this video we are going to discuss about the dc to dc converters so the dc to dc converters are also called as choppers so uh, in the previous week on the last week we have discussed about the basic components which are used uh, used in the power electronics like uh, power bjt power mosfet igbt all those videos now uh, in this week we will be discussing more on the uh, choppers or converters this dc to dc converters we will be discussing step up step down basic uh, choppers uh, which are operating in first quadrant, second quadrant and also in all four quadrants. All these things we will be discussing. And also we will be discussing the buck converter, boost converter and buck boost converter. Okay. So these type of uh, topics we will be discussing mostly in this week. Okay. So uh, in this video we will be mainly discussing about the basic of the basic idea of DC to DC converters which are choppers. And also we will be discussing what are the main classifications and also the circuit diagram and working okay the basic chopper working okay now there are again a lot of variations based on which uh, the working will also vary that we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos okay so what is a dc to dc converter we have actually heard ac to dc converter and dc to ac converter now what is this dc to dc converter dc to dc converter means here you are going to give a fixed dc input voltage and it will chop the circuit will chop your dc input voltage which is fixed and you will be getting a variable output dc voltage okay so input and output both are dc values only here input and output both are dc but input is a fixed one output will be variable so you will get a chopped version of your input okay so that is a basic idea of a dc to dc converter and due to this chopping or due to the variations happening in the fixed DC, we know that DC means it is a fixed value, but output is a variable DC. So due to this variations or due to the chopping, we call these circuits as choppers. Okay. I hope the basic definition is clear to you. Okay. So the chopper can be actually considered as DC equivalent of an AC transformer. Okay. You can think of uh, a chopper as a dc equivalent of i'll write it here so it is a dc equivalent of an ac transformer you can think of a chopper like this okay now how this chopping is actually done so if you observe the circuit of a chopper it is nothing but it is a high speed on off semiconductor switch so in a chopper circuit there will be a high speed operating semiconductor switch and this semiconductor switch when it is operating in a high speed that is on off on off it will be happening at the high speed so it connects the source to the load and disconnect the uh, load at a high speed so we know that there is a source side and then there is a load side right so the load and the source are connected with each other at, and disconnected and this connection and disconnection is happening at a very high speed okay so that's why the chopping is happening okay so this circuit will be happening will be ha having a high speed on a semiconductor switch and with the help of that switch the source and the load side are connected and disconnected at a very high rate or at a very high speed and due to which the voltage is actually getting chopped okay i hope the basic concept is clear now in order to i just uh, now told you that there is a switch present and the switch we are using here is actually a scr okay scr is a silicon control rectifier we have actually done videos on silicon control rectifiers last week the basics everything so the one of the very important use or application of an scr is it can be used as a switch in a lot of circuits we use scr as switch okay and also this scr is having a lot of applications especially in the power electronics area okay so anyway, in the choppers, we are using silicon controlled rectifier switches and this SCR is triggered on and triggered off at a very high speed. Okay, the switch has to operate at a very high speed. So the SCR is turned on and off at a very high speed. And this is how the connection and disconnection of the load source is happening. Okay, and also by varying the, the on and the off time of SCR, we can actually vary the voltage that is coming across the load okay so based on by varying the time of on and off that is on time and off time of this scr switch 
you can vary the voltage coming at the load side okay so this is the basic working principle of a dc to dc converter again we are going to see the circuit diagram with the help of circuit diagram we'll be again uh, discussing this basic choppers that is basics of choppers anyway this is the basic thing you are going to see in the circuit diagram also okay now coming on to the applications actually this choppers has a lot of applications especially for dc motor motor control and also for computer power supplies in commercial electronics uh, devices in electric cars in all these areas the choppers or dc to dc converters are being used okay next we are going to see the circuit diagram of a basic chopper and with the help of that circuit diagram we'll see how the chopper is actually working and how the scr is connected everything we are going to see okay next we are going to see the circuit diagram and uh, the working of a basic chopper okay so this is not step up or step down or anything this is a basic chopper okay now uh, if you want to study step up and step down please do stay tuned to the channel we'll be doing the videos on step up step down buck converter boots converter all these uh, topics very soon okay videos will be uploaded very soon so the basic circuit diagram if you don't know anything about chopper you should know that this is the basic circuit diagram of a chopper now if you uh, if you don't know what is actually a chopper you can actually think of a chopper as a switch okay it is just a switch with some additional components now the switching action is actually performed here with the help of this scr so you know that this is the symbol of scrs okay so the symbol of scr or this is scr is actually performing the switching action here and this entire circuit is is performing nothing but switching action only it is not performing any other things but just switching that is on off on off likewise okay so the basic circuit diagram is actually consisting of there is a source side this is source voltage is vs there is a load and across this load we'll be getting our output voltage there is an inductance there is a freewheeling diode in some circuits there will be freewheeling diode in some circuits there won't be while discussing the step up and step down you'll get to know more details okay and this is the switch and with the help of this uh, thyristor or uh, this scr or the switch the circuit is actually getting connected and disconnected okay so this switch is actually operated at a very high speed or in a very fast way and we know that for scr there is scr triggering mechanisms right triggering on and triggering off so the triggering mechanisms are used here to turn off and off this device or this scr and hence the circuit is actually working but in the circuit diagram we are not actually drawing the triggering mechanisms and all to avoid complexity okay so you should know that this is the basic working of a, a basic structure of a dc to dc chopper okay now let us see how the uh, on state and off state is varied here so this is the circuit diagram uh, for on state okay i hope you can see it very clearly so this is the circuit diagram for on state okay so during the on state you can see that the switch is in the on condition so it is as it is and there will be a circuit like this okay so when the uh, chopper or when the dc to dc converter is in the on condition you will get the vc vs voltage entirely across the load okay so here we are not actually considering uh, any amplification in the voltage value or any uh, increase in the voltage value or anything so whatever vs value is there you will get across the load during the on state okay so during the on condition the load voltage will be equal to vs so i can write it here so load voltage will be equal to vs in this state okay now during the off state means the switch is in the off condition so what will happen when the switch is in the off condition means there is a open circuit okay now there is actually no connection happening between the source voltage and the load voltage right so during the off condition the load current will be actually flowing through this freewheeling diode so you here you can see that there is a short circuit actually formed here the connection with the source side has been disconnected with the help of the switch and there is a short circuit formed here okay so the load current it will flow through the free wheeling diode like this okay and as a result the load terminal will be short circuited by the free wheeling diode and the load voltage is equal to zero so i can write here load voltage is equal to 
zero. Okay, zero volt is the load voltage. Okay, so this is how a DC to DC converter or a basic chopper is working. Now, how can you find the average voltage? That is how how can you find the average output voltage? The equation is given like this: V out is equal to T on by T on plus T of into V s. Okay. So the equation is V out the out average output voltage. The average output voltage is given by on time by on time plus off time into V s. Now this T on time or this T off time is actually the time of uh, oning and off of 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 this uh, S C R. Okay, so the time period for which the S C R is turned on, the time for which the S C R is turned off, that time is actually the on time of the chopper circuit or the off time of the chopper circuit, right? So that is T on and T off. Okay, so the average voltage is given by T V out is equal to T on by T on plus T off into V S, or you can write it as T on. That is on time by total time. This is the total time into V S, right? And you can take this T on time by T as alpha, which is the duty cycle. Okay, so here we are taking this as alpha, which is equal to duty cycle. So you can write just as That is the output voltage V out is equal to alpha times V s. Okay, so you can write here. I'll remove it. So V out is equal to alpha times V s. Right. So you can uh, clearly understand that what all things uh, the output voltage is depending on. Output voltage is depending on the supply voltage V s and also the duty cycle of the chopper. Okay. So duty cycle is given by on time by Total time, and it is taken as alpha. That is a duty cycle. So V out is depending on the duty cycle and the source voltage. Okay. So these are the two factors on which the output voltage of a chopper is actually depending on. Now based on this uh, uh, relation, we are actually designing step up, step down, all those choppers. Okay. So this is how the circuit uh, of a chopper is looking like, and this is the working. Okay. Next, we are going to discuss about the classification of DC to DC converters or choppers. Now, here the classification is actually done based on the output voltage level. Okay. Again, there are other classifications based on the triggering mechanism of the SCR and all. But here we are only discussing the classification based on the the output voltage level, whether it is higher or whether it is lower. Likewise. Okay. So you can classify the DC to DC converter or choppers as three categories based on the output voltage levels. First one is step. Down chopper, then step up chopper. The last one is step up down chopper. That means it can be both. Okay, step up and down chopper. Okay, so we'll discuss what are the basic uh, things of these three. Anyway, we'll be doing detailed videos on this. Okay, so the first one is step down chopper. So step down means here. In this case, the average output voltage will be less than the input voltage. Okay, it can also be known as step down converter. Okay, step down chopper or step down converter. So the output voltage I'm going to take is it is V out. V out is less than the source voltage. So the average output voltage will be less than the source voltage. Now what will be the condition here? Clearly the opposite one, right? So for the step up chopper, the average output voltage will be more than the Input voltage, so V S is the source voltage, which is the input. Now for step up and down converter, this type of converter produces an output voltage which can be either lower or higher than the input voltage. Okay, so here V out can be either greater than or V S or it can be less than V S. It can be either base. Okay, so these are the three basic classifications of choppers. So I'm hoping that you understood the concept of chopper. So this video was actually meant for those people who have not yet actually heard of the term DC to DC converter. Or if you are a very beginner to this area, then I am really hoping that you understood the concept. Okay. So the DC to DC converters or choppers are actually uh, you can think it of as switch because 
it is just performing switching action only okay and with the help of an inductor and a freewheeling diode it is actually passing the supply voltage to the load side and this connection and disconnection between the load and the source is happening at a very quicker way and due to which the chopping of your input signal is happening so that is the basic working principle of choppers or dc to dc converters okay so i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching